Welcome everyone. Today's video will be an anime merchandise haul from AmiAmi. Ami. As you can see, I have two boxes, so I just want to show you guys what I have. Let's get started. Let us start with the smaller box. So inside I have these two keychains. Now these are not from AmiAmi. Ami. This is from a store called Otomart. It's sort of um, Japan's flea market website. And I got these two keychains from Hitalia which I'm really happy to have, and they're much bigger than I thought they would be. I think they're a solid two to three inches. Um, so I got Russia and America. These were part of a set of military style outfits that I did not even realize were on sale. So when I heard they were out of stock, I was really sad. So I went to Automart for these, and I will speak about how I got them at the end of the video. So like always, here is Ami Ami's wonderful little card. I really like this one, it's really cute. And then on the back, it just has their information. Very useful stuff. Here is the first thing that I bought. This is an America Pass case. I'm going on a trip to Atlanta soon. This is for information to put on your suitcase so that in case it gets lost, it's very easy to tell it's yours because it has something unique on it. I really like the image and I love America. It has a little ball chain. I might put an actual keychain on that because I don't trust the ball chain to be sturdy enough through... Um, to go through the baggage claim area. And then this is just kind of fabric and then plastic. But yeah, I think that's really cute. The next thing in the box is this Yuri on Ice rubber strap. I've gotten a lot of Yuri on Ice keychains recently, but this one was just so cute. I could not pass it up. This is a specific style. I know tons of series have gotten rubber straps with this pose and expression on it, but I don't remember what it's called, but it's really cute. So here is what it looks like out of its packaging. It has the Yuri on Ice logo on the back and on the back of the rubber strap. Oh no! There might have been some residue on there. It might be from the font of the this. Yep, there's a marking. But that's okay, it's not like that's what I'm going to display, but he's so cute. And the rubber straps are just made of rubber, but they're very sturdy and really cute. The next two things are two more of these little sticker roll boxes with different designs. I like the military outfits a lot, so I decided to pick more up. And then once again, I got Russia and America. I will not open these like I usually do because I've shown them before and there's really no difference. It's just different designs. So there's the ones that come in Russia's box and there's the ones that come in America's box. The next thing I am really excited about, this is a mouse pad. Now I don't really use mouse pads, but they're really nice decorative pieces for your desk. So I got this Russia one. I was going to get America too, but he sold out unfortunately. It's a good size. Um, it's kind of just a soft, really thin actually. I was not expecting it to be that thin, but uh, it's kind of those spongy type of mouse pads. I just really like the, the artwork on it. Second to last thing in the box is this Token Rambu Haru um, Karuta set. I almost said Haruka, <laughs> like, like that's anything. <laughs> well, right here is the box. Now, as I said, this is a Karuta set. Karuta is a type of um, <clears throat> poem card game that's very popular in Japan. It's kind of a traditional thing. And the only reason I know this is because I used to watch an anime of it that was really beautiful. box is really beautiful and here is a list I'm assuming of all the 100 poems in the card set each one has a design of the care a character from the token Rambu series and the only reason the only reason I bought this set is for him <laughs> Literally the only reason I bought it is because of him, but also the artwork is really nice. So even if I don't care about the character, having them as like mini posters or something is really nice. So it, wow, I did not realize Token Rambu had that many characters for them to have enough for a card to test it. And here are the little cards. Oh my God, they're so cute. So here are the little card sets. They're adorable. So you lay these out on the floor. I did not realize they were this small, actually. They looked much bigger in the anime, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so anyway, you lay these out in an arrangement, and then once there's a po person that calls out each poem, and then you have to try and find it, memorize how the order that you did on the floor, and like really 
grab it before your opponent does. It's really intense. I've watched real life versions of it and it's amazing to watch these people. Anyway, oh, drop them. So unlike regular card games, these are actually pretty thick. They feel like those um, magnetic cards that you can cut up and stick stuff onto. So there's a lot of these. Man, I wish I knew every name of these. Can you imagine? Like someone just calls out, um, I don't know any of these names, <laughs> but they're so cool. These are so neat. I know him, I just don't know his name, but I recognize his design. A couple of these guys have gotten figures and androids and stuff like that. There he is. Ah, oh, my, my boy. He is so pretty. Love him. That is so neat. I love this idea of putting characters on Karuta cards. We'll look at the other set just for review purposes in case anyone who was curious about these cards stumbles upon this video. Oh, I have him as a Nendoroid. There we go. I'll put back snugly into their boxes. Took me a while to put the plastic back. <laughs> but I love those. And they'll make a really cool decoration piece for um, where I display my little figure of the guy from Tokenambu. We still have a couple more things to show from the other one, but I'm really excited for this one. This is the whole reason I bought something from Amiami this time around for this Tenori Volume 1 set of mochis from Hetalia. Hetalia is about countries, but the creator made these really funny mascot things, a little mochi with faces and they're, they're sentient. <laughs> so it's really funny. There's a different set that has other ones in it, but here are all the ones in this one. I'm mainly only bought this set for Americas and Russia's of course and Canada looks really cute. There's five in this set so then why did it give me six? Do we get an extra? All right let's find out. I'm gonna open this from oh no it's not tape. I wanted to preserve the box but that's just not gonna happen so I'm gonna open it the way they intended which is through this tab I'm assuming. Ah oh, that hurt me <laughs> but oh well you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, that's so cute. And you're in here, did we get? Ooh, perfect. So I got the Russia one. That's so adorable. He is so cute and soft. He has a little tag here that has Hitalia on it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. And it's so round. It's a good size too. I was expecting it to be a little smaller. So so soft adorable oh my gosh i'm so happy with these okay let's keep going see if we can find america oh here we have the italy at the bottom and then america's mochi and then a little i'm assuming that's a pineapple Here we have a popular one. Here is England. Got a little top hat. Oh, here's Canada with his, with his cute little bear purse. So cute. Yay, there he is. So cute. Here's America in all his glory. Super cute, very soft. He's got the little tag. 
Kotobukuya, that's the company that made these. Oh, I love him. I am so sorry for the birds outside. I am filming in the morning when they are just waking up, so they are making a lot of noise. Um, and they are really loud. Oh my goodness. But we have to continue because I do not have time to just wait for them to be quiet. Oh, we have another America. Okay. So I wonder if the last one is just random. But I'm not complaining for getting another America. He is awesome. And that's the whole box. Moving on to the next box. Now, these things were shipped a little later. Um, technically speaking, I could have gotten them all shipped at the same time, but uh, if I had put everything together in one box, the shipping would have been way more expensive. <laughs> so here's the Ami Ami card I got with this box because it did take a little bit longer to get to me. And here is what I decided to get shipped separately. Oh my goodness, I am so glad I did. These are heavy. So here we have another Nandoroid set. The last one I had was a Japanese style room. This is a Western style room, more of a fancy English style. <laughs> so we have a dining set with the table and chairs, a door, and a fireplace, and then that weird little decoration at the top. And then here we have kind of a living room area with a window, a tea set, as well as the tea table, and a sofa, or a love seat, whatever you want to call it. I was afraid if I waited, I they would pop up or go up in price, so I did not want to risk that. Man, these are heavy. They definitely come with more parts than the previous Nandoroid set. So I'm going to film this later. I, I would do it now, but I'm so tired. <laughs> Something that I did not include in my anime haul from Ami Ami is the Leonardo Watch Alter 1 7th scale pre-painted figure. I bought this from a user used in used condition, but it was brand new because they realized they did not want it as soon as they got it. So as soon as it came out of the packaging, it went back in. He is so amazing. I got him for pretty cheap. I'm just deciding whether or not I want to keep him because um, I don't know if I want to have that many scale figures. I don't want to start a new collection, especially with the so little room that I have. I'm still debating whether or not I want to make a detailed review of him. So we'll just take a quick look here at his box. This is from an anime called Blood Blockade Battlefront. I recently watched it. I bought the figure before I did, but the figure inspired me to watch it and it was a really cool anime. And so it comes with the figure. This is from the ending song for each episode where they dance. It's really fun. Then his little monkey friend, there's two of him that you can put on his shoulder and then an, another face. In addition to the figure that I'm not sure I want to keep, there is also this little coin purse that I got from Sudagaya in a recent purchase. The rest of that purchase will be posted um, in a couple of days because it was mainly squishy, so I'm going to post it as a squishy purchase or package. But I really like the Pikachu coin purse, however it was a little small, so I was hoping... I was looking for Blood Blockade Battlefront stuff, and I found this one which looks like it's a much decent size. And I really wanted something for Leonardo because he is so adorable. So there's the packaging right here. It's really neat. And this is um, a reference to an episode in the show that's really sad and touching, but oh, so cute. He's so adorable. <laughs> so this is just kind of fabric material. And yes, thankfully this is a decent size, much more decent than the Pikachu one I got. It's still cute, I, but I think I'm going to give it to somebody because um, definitely cannot put that many coins in that one, but this one is definitely better. Blood Blockade Battlefront, and again, he's a big fan of this burger joint. And in one episode, oh, so touching, I don't want to spoil it or anything. So the last thing in my anime haul is more Blood Blockade Battlefront related. I also got this from Surugaya. It's this file folder. They had a couple, but I wanted this one. It supposedly comes with an extra, which I'm assuming is this sticker. And here are a couple more that are in the set. Oh, it comes with two. That's neat. Here's the first file folder. It has kind of snapshots from the series. He's my favorite. He's pretty funny. The little monkey is adorable. He's awesome. And then these two are interesting. And then the camera is a big reference to the show. So the back is transparent as well as the front, but the pictures take up space so you don't see what you put in there. And then this little guy, oh my god. He's like a little dumpling creature or something. Mushroom, that's what it is. He's a little mushroom creature. Oh no. Oh, 
If you've seen this series, you know why that's so sad. Oh. But I love, I, I wanted something to commemorate this little guy because he was adorable. And then here is the extra you get with a set of file folders. I know I said that was the last thing, but I actually remembered I had this. <laughs> so I, um, I had family visiting, so I went to the mall, which I never do. Um, and the mall has this neat little Asian store, Global Imports, I think is what it's called. And they were having a sale on uh, school supply stuff because Texas was having their annual tax-free weekend. So I got these two Gudetama file folders and they're just really cute. Officially licensed by Sanrio. That store does have a couple of um, counterfeit merchandise, but they, this was official. So there's a sticker for Sanrio. And these were really cute and really cheap. I think they were only a dollar or three, three dollars maybe each. So good deal. And there's my entire anime merchandise haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. So I did promise to explain Otomart. Again, Otomart is like a thrift store kind of thing. It has an app, it's, so it's kind of like Mercari in that sense, but it also has a website. You do have to search in Japanese, so when it comes to anime merchandise, it's pretty easy to do that. I just look up the name of the series in English, then copy paste the Japanese translation into the search bar and everything for that series comes up. You do have to be very fast and it's only for Japanese residents and people who have a Japanese bank account. So no international shipping, um, as far as I know. So I used From Japan as a forwarder. I've used them before. I'll explain more about them in my next video about squishies, which will be coming in a few days. Um, but basically they buy it for you. They contact the seller for you and everything. They, they're pretty quick, but I did have to try a couple times because it is a thrift store kind of thing. Things are really cheap there. So stuff gets picked up pretty fast. So I had to try a couple sellers who had the items before my proxy finally was able to purchase one of each for me. I will leave links about Otomart and From Japan, which is the proxy I used in the description if you're interested. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.